Hi guys, I'm in here. In this little tutorial, I want to explain the Malteco OSINT tool. What is OSINT? OSINT means open source intelligence. It is the process of fingerprinting a company, its website, uh, IP addresses, intellectual property, domain names, uh, VPN servers, and so forth by using open source resources. You can actually do everything manually by hand or to use a tool that will help you um, with this collection of data. On the live CD, there is a tool called uh, Malteco. Uh, if you hit the information gathering with OSINT analysis, you find it here. OSINT, the Malteco tool, requires a valid username and password uh, from Malteco. So first you need to register a free account on the Malteco website. So as you can see here, uh, I have the Malteco free edition. Uh, so choose the free edition and you will be prompted to enter your account. So I, I accept the license agreement and uh, there's a button register here. I already registered uh, Malteco free account. So my username, copy my username from my password manager and the corresponding password from my password manager and hopefully I can add the proper capture. So if you register the free account on the Malteco website, uh, then you can log into the Malteco tool. So this little tool will help you uh, to run an OSINT analysis on a, for a given uh, target. So let's wait until the UI gets fi finished or initialized. Choose your default browser. I like Chrome. Uh, privacy mode I, I keep on, on normal. And I would like to start an open uh, bl a blank graph, so an empty graph. So, okay, here we go. So when you start the, your OSINT analysis, first you need to add a business uh, entity. So by um, have here a business organization, you drag and drop this to um, to think to the UI to the dashboard, and you say, okay, I want to run an OSINT analysis for Compass Security. So once you have entered the organization, you can then right click and do several tasks. Okay, um, you can add um, domains, email addresses and so forth. So let me check if I can run the domains. Okay, if not, let me zoom here. I can add several stuff. So for example, a domain, an internet domain. Drag and drop this. And say the domain I'm interested in is compasssecurity.com. I can of course add multiple domains. So another domain that is owned by Compass Security is uh, hackinglab.com or uh, fileboxsolution.com So you add the properties so from the information you know from a public website from about your target you can even add uh, other stuff like IP addresses URLs certificate information and so forth or a person. So let me add a person. Let's say I'm a butler. And once you have added your initial nodes in your uh, Malteco analysis, you can right click on them. So let's say I, I would like to start on Compass Security, right click. And you can say check. I would not choose all transforms because this will overwhelm the whole picture. So first, let me check what are the DNS names of this domain. 
So click on that. that. And uh, you can actually run these uh, little tasks. So DNS name, interesting, or mail server, name servers, and so forth. Okay, I run the whole DNS from domain task by clicking this little play button. And Malteco will now run these little utility tasks for the domain compossecurity.com. As you can see now, the graph already expanded by using the wheel on the, the mouse wheel, I can zoom in and zoom out. Here we have an overview of where we are and you can choose the view um, and different preferences, um, what you like, how the information should be structured. So let's say this live view. So this is now valid for compossecurity.com. If you want, you can, let's say, hackinglab.com, do the, the DNS transformation as well. And this will enrich the whole picture with the information about Hacking Lab. As being said, by running or click uh, using the wheel, mouse wheel, I can zoom in and zoom out. Okay, where is my Hacking Lab domain? over here and you can see they share several several services here so hackinglab.com is using these services so what what are these services about ah, mail server they share the same ma mail server if you click on the on, on a note you can uh, convert it to um, to uh, the IP address so let's do the resolving to IP address and uh, this will result in the IP address for this given host. So this was the start of using Maltego. You should uh, now uh, run your own Maltego analysis. Um, you can, of course, uh, right click on the domain or company and do all transforms. I'll do that for testing purposes. Um, and but this will give you an incredible large image of uh, nodes and information. So I do not recommend to do the full blown all transformations. I recommend to ask little questions. So what are the name servers? What are the mail servers? What is the IP address and so forth? Because otherwise you get an extremely complex uh, uh, graph. You can't cannot easily overview what is going on here. So let me check what I can find out about my own person. So where is my uh, identity? Where I entered Ivan Butler. Ah, here we have Ivan Butler. What can we do about this guy? Email address about this person. Um, run it without more information and now it should be possible to find out my email addresses i use in my daily business life okay i hope this little intro will help you to run uh, your malteco analysis on compass security i have chosen compass security because i am the owner of the domain and i can give you permission to do so and that's why we have um, we do our analysis on compass security with its services okay enjoy the maltego lab uh, take care bye bye